So we're at the Bar at Blue at the downtown Louisville Marriott. I'm here with my good friend, Wes Henderson. You know him, he is the founder of Angels Envy. And quite a week, congratulations to you as Bacardi purchases Angels Envy. Very exciting. It's very exciting. Time. In fact, yep. we've already got a, a, a bourbon they poured for us here. We should right. just start off by saying congratulations you to you. Thank you so much, cheers. Absolutely. It's always good to start an interview with some great, uh, some great bourbon here. Thank you. I'm having a little of the cast strength, and you're having a... I'm having some rye. Um, rye's a good choice for me uh, this early in the day. Uh, but, but Tom jumps right into the cask, which Let's is awesome. It. It's perfect. Wouldn't have it any other way. Absolutely. So, obviously, 2010, you all started Angel's Envy. Uh, nothing had ever been done like it in the bourbon world. And now here we are, about five years later. Tell us the story of how all this came, came to be. Yeah. We wanted to really get Dad out of retirement. You know, after 40 years of Brown Foreman, we gave him a couple years rest, and uh, I wanted to do a bourbon with Dad. And we started talking about it about nine years ago. And flash forward, about four years ago, we launched Angels Envy. Right. And it's been an amazing ride. The brand has grown phenomenally well. We've got uh, a new facility being built in downtown Louisville. We've got a, a ton of awards from some wonderful supporters. Right. And, uh, and now we have a great partner in Bacardi. It, uh, it's a good time. How did Bacardi become the new owner? I understand there's a lot of major players that were looking at your brand. Yeah, I mean, we got some phone calls along the way. You know, we'd, we'd answer the phone and say, you know, we're flattered, but, you know, now's really not a good time for us or we're not interested. But um, Bacardi had been involved with the brand early on right. and uh, they had a seat on our board and, and were uh, minority investors. So we had a great relationship going back a number of years. And, and we built on that and built on it and we finally got to the point where we felt like it would be good to take it to the next level. So we started talking about two months ago about the uh, potential acquisition, and it came together. It's, it's, uh, it's amazing. And you're actually here in the, the downtown Louisville Marriott uh, meeting with Bacardi right now? Yeah, I am. We're having uh, team meetings for the last two days. We've got uh, some folks from, uh, from South Florida that are here from Bacardi. They're executives and uh, our team. We're doing some team building, just learning about the company, learning about their portfolio, and, and learning about their plans for our company, which really the, the key to that is their plans are to leave things the way they are. Um, we're a standalone company. We're going to continue to operate as a standalone company, and they've worked really hard to make sure that they reinforce that to, to the entire team. And for everyone that, that obviously loves your bourbon, it, it's the bourbon is going, and the, and the rye, and your cast strength. I mean, we're going to still see these same products and even some new ones coming. Absolutely. You know, we're going to maintain our, our core that we have right now. We've always got stuff in development, things that my father and I planned years ago that we're starting to see the results of those experiments. We're pulling samples from barrels. And, you know, the, the hard part for me is as an innovator and a creator, sometimes you kind of got to hold back. You know, you can't flood the market with everything you have. So, right. so it, for me, the minute I create something really cool, I'm like a like a like a child discovering something new. I want to you know I want to show it to everybody. I want to get it out to market. But um, so we're, we've still got some more growth to do. And as we grow, we'll start looking at bringing new things online. And I think we've got some really awesome stuff that that people will be very happy with. Oh, absolutely. And years ago, back in 2010, you know, you and I talked for about a year and. You were so kind to let us try the uh, the Angels Envy bourbon for the first time to be the first media outlet on Bourbon Blog to try your bourbon. And then uh, I remember a couple of years ago at Bourbon Classic, we were so lucky to sit down with you and your son and and, uh, and Lincoln and your father and, and try the rye for the first time. And, and boy, that was a real special moment as well. It, it was a special moment for a number of reasons. Number one, that's one of the last interviews my father did with me and my son Kyle. And it was a very in-depth interview, and I encourage your your viewers to go back and watch that right. because it was just it captured my father in in an amazing way, and uh, it, it's it's a point of history in this industry that was very important. So it's it was a great piece, and thank you for doing that because it's very important for me because I occasionally go back and watch it because they're great memories. Well, we've we've, we've shared a lot of great memories together. Yes, We're sharing we yet have. another one as we celebrate your. Uh, as we celebrate your uh, your, your new um, your new owner, which is Bacardi, and right. what do you what do you think uh, Lincoln would say if he uh, heard the news today? What I think Dad's say? proud. Yeah, you know, I mean, Dad always said to me, you know, Dad always left the business decisions up to right. me and, and a lot of the stuff up to me, and and he'd say, Wes, what do you think? Should we do it? And I said yes, and he would have said, okay, whatever you think, what do you, whatever you think's best. And I know he's proud. I know he's proud of what we started. I know he's proud of what we've done. I know he's proud of the rye, you know, the, that I was able to develop the rye and bring that to market. I know he's proud of the cast strength, so, and I know he's going to be proud as we do other things as well. 
That is awesome. I think this really shows why just how uh, how big bourbon has become. And we all know bourbon is big. It's the number one most sold the bourbon American whiskey, number one most sold spirit in the world. Um, talk about that a little bit, though. I mean, considering the fact that you know six years ago there wasn't an Angels. I mean, now, today there is. It's it's become one of our favorite bourbons. How it can happen so quickly? Now you you know. Here's Bacardi. Talk about how this whole thing has grown and how you've seen it grown. I talk a lot about what makes a brand successful. I'm right. asked to speak about that, and there are a lot of things. You've got to have a great product, of course. You've got to have a great team. You've got to be able to market. You've got to have a route to market. You've got to have uh, suppliers, supporters. But the other thing that's really important is timing. Timing is everything. Right. You know, you can have all those other things, but if it's not the right time, and I know Dad did a lot of things at Brown Form, and he created a lot of really cool things over the years that never made it to market because it wasn't the right time. So now's the time for bourbon. Now's the time for this wonderful, wonderfully unique American spirit to continue to grow. Right. And we're going to be there. And, and Bacardi sees that. You know, Bacardi has a history of investing in brands that are emerging brands. Of course, they have their core rums, which they've had for 153 years. But they've got all these other wonderful spirits, and and we're a great addition to that portfolio. And we see their commitment to the future, which is which is phenomenal. Bacardi's going to let you keep the angels floating around with the wings on them. The girls, could I think there. so. Yeah. I, we we got to have our girls, you know, our <laughs> angels. Um, they're beautiful, and and they, they they definitely represent the 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 purity and the beauty of the brand. So I think they're going to be around. And we should probably also say this is actually the the first bourbon Bacardi has ever had. Is that right? It is. It's their very first bourbon. First they have some other holdings and single malts, and uh, of course Duars and and other other fine whiskeys. But uh, this is their their first foray into the bourbon market. What are you most looking forward to as you as you continue forward with with uh, Louisville Distilling Company, Angels Envy, and, and uh, now Bacardi? What are you most excited about? I think I'm most excited about the new distill reopening, which we hope to have open in early 2016. Um, I'm still excited about working with my children, uh, my son Kyle, of course, in blending. Uh, right. My son Andrew works in the bottling facility. My son Connor works in the bottling facility. That's the best part of what I do, and just growing the brand. Tom, you and I have great jobs. Yeah. We, we go around, we talk about bourbon, we drink bourbon, we meet great people, you know, we eat great food. I mean, travel the world. There's no better job. I mean, if you think about it, we're blessed. And I want to continue to do that. Great. Well, congratulations to Thank you. Thank you. Get some more products coming from Angels Envy that we can't tell you about quite yet, but you'll hear about them first here on, on Bourbon Blog. Absolutely. I promise you that. <laughs> We've done it before. We'll, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. So one of the favorite things my father used to say to me was, you know, people would ask Dad a lot, how do you drink your bourbon? And Dad, without hesitation, he wouldn't flinch, he would say, I don't care how you drink it as long as you drink it. <laughs> so to that end, to that, let's raise a glass to Lincoln, to Lincoln and cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. cheers.